Hey guys, it's Miss Alexander. Today we're working module one, lesson 16 of Engage New York. Our objective today is to solve two-step word problems using standard subtraction algorithm fluently and assess the reasonableness of your answers using rounding. Remember when we use rounding, I've introduced the song, We Will Round You on the steps of rounding. And I'll be using that to help us round. If you don't know what it is, check the description. I'll link it. Here are our vocabulary words that we've been studying. Go ahead and pause the video and then come on back. Here we go. We're going to go to our example, you guys. Right here. It says Zachary's final project for a college course took a semester to write. Had 95,234 words. Zachary wrote 35,295 words the first month and 19,240 words the second map. So it says round each value to the nearest 10,000 to estimate how many words Zachary wrote during the remaining part of the semester. So I'm gonna quick highlight the 10,000. And I'm doing this just to help remind me that's what we're doing is rounding to the nearest 10,000. So I usually, Highlight the number I'm rounding, underline the place next door. So I'm just going to do this to all my words quickly, all my numbers, so that when I go and transfer them into the scribble, it's already done. It's showing me what I'm rounding up and what I'm looking next to. So now I'm going to just take this, I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to hit control C and then I'm going to jump into my scribble, which is estimate. I'm going to double click. I'm going to click by the word estimate, hit enter, and then control V. I'm not changing the words or anything because I kind of need them so that I know what I'm doing. So it says to round to the nearest 10,000. So this five, is it telling the nine to rest or is it telling it to raise a score? So the song goes, find your place, look next door. Five or more, you raise the score. Four or less, you let it rest. Look to the right, put zeros in sight. So let's go. The five is telling the nine to raise its score. So I'm going to go right here and get my scribble. And I'm going to do... 10 because we need to raise the nine and that becomes a 10. Then where the five is, I put a zero and the 234 also we put zeros because remember it says put zeros in sight. So now I've got my number of 100,000 because it's rounded. And when you subtract, you can only subtract one number at a time. And I'm just going to go off with the first number right here. I found my place. I'm looking next door. And the five tells my three to raise. So that means I have one, two, three, four zeros. So one, two, three. And we know after the third one, we get a comma. And then the fourth zero. And then the five is telling the three to turn to a four. So now I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. So I know zero minus zero, zero minus zero, zero minus zero. I know it's a lot of zeros, but if we don't have them, it changes our number. Zero minus zero. And then right here we have zero minus four. So we need to regroup. So I'm going to take one from the hundred thousands. And I'm going to turn it into 10, 10 thousands. And then I'm going to add the 10 thousands I have, which is nothing. So I have 10, 10 thousands. And I'm going to subtract four 10 thousands, which gives us six 10 thousands. So, so far he's written about 40,000 words. Now let's look at our last number. We have 19,240. So I found my place. I'm looking next door because it's greater than five. I know the one becomes a two. So I get 
I'm going to quit count one, two, three, four. And the reason I'm counting is remember, I always start off writing my numbers after the first one on the right hand side in our ones column and go uh, left. So I have four zeros and my one becomes a two. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then my one turns to a two. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract zero minus zero, zero minus zero, zero minus zero, zero minus zero. And then six minus two is four. So he wrote about a hundred thousand words the whole semester. In the first month, he wrote about um, hold on, you guys. In the first month, he wrote about forty thousand words. And then in the second month, he wrote about twenty thousand words, which means the rest of the semester, he wrote about 40,000 words. And this is what they were asking for is this. So I'm going to go ahead and square it so I can see it. Save. And then I'm going to make this just a little smaller because I know I want some room. Okay. And now it says to find the exact number. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the exact same thing as I did on the first one. Control C. I'm going to jump into the solve. I click on it and then I double click. Click next to solve. Hit enter and then control V. Okay, now we're doing the exact numbers. So here we go. I'm getting to my scribble. So I'm going to start off with 95,234. So 95,234. And remember, this was the whole semester. Now we're going to subtract the number from the first month, which was 35,295. So my ones column, I write my five. In my tens column, I write my nine. In my hundreds column, I write a two. In my thousands column, I write a five. And then in my ten thousands column, I write a three. So I'm going to subtract. This first set, four take away five, I can't do. So we're going to go ahead and regroup. We're going to take one from the 10, the tens column, which leaves us a two. We're going to bring our one, 10 over, which becomes 10 ones, and then add the ones to that 10 that I rehab. I'm going to cross out my four. 14 minus five is nine. And then two minus nine, yep, we have to regroup. So I'm going to take one from the hundreds and bring that one over, which becomes 10 tens, and then add it to my two. So 10 plus two, 10 tens plus two tens is 12 tens. So we'll do 12 minus nine, which gives us three. And then we do one, take away two. One minus two, we can't do, so we'll regroup. We will take from the thousands column. So now, oh, a little too big for that four. We're gonna take from there and turn it to a four. And we're gonna add the 1,000, turn it into 10 hundreds to the hundreds I already have, and I already have one. So now I'll do 11 hundreds, 11 one hundreds minus two one hundreds, which is 
nine one hundredths. And then I do four, take away five, right? I need to regroup again. So I'll take one from the 10,000. So that becomes an eight. And now I have, take that one 10,000, turn it into 10, 10 one thousandths and add it to the four one thousandths I have. And 10 plus four is 14. Now I do 14 minus five, which gives me nine. And then eight minus three, which gives me five. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and subtract the second month. We got to be patient as we do this. It's easy. It, it's what you guys can do. Just make sure we regroup and we're paying attention to where we're taking from. So now we have 19,240 words for the second month. So right here, I'm going to put a two to remind me it's the second month. So again, I always start off on... The ones column, which is a zero. The tens column has a four. The hundreds column has a two, you guys. The thousands column has a nine. And the ten thousands column has a one. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract. And this is going to give us the rest of the semester. So nine minus zero is nine. Three minus four. Oh, if I put three fingers, I can't take four away. So we will have to regroup. So I'm going to take 100 from my hundred. So I'm going to write an eight because we had nine. So now we have eight. That 100 is going to become 10 tens. So I'm going to write it right there, and I have to add the three I already have. Oh. There we go. Cross off this three. 13 minus four is nine. Eight minus two is six. Nine minus nine is zero. And then five minus one is four. So now I'm going to highlight this because, again, we need the teacher to kind of see what we're doing. I'm going to hit Save and Close. And again, I'm going to make it smaller. But to help out, to help me out anyways, I'm going to write this out so I can see. So I'm going to write ne right next here about 4,000 pages because that is what we're talking about, right? And then here, exactly 40,699 pages. And remember, this is for the remaining part of the year. For the remaining part of the year, of the semester, not year. So because I'm using the exact same thing, I'm just going to quick highlight, control C, and then right here, go control V. I take one of these off and I'm just going to go here and hit enter. So I have answers so I can keep on going. Now we need to explain you guys. Is our answers reasonable? So we I'm going to change my color. Found. with rounding that, I don't know their name, that Zachary wrote about 40,000 pages the rest of the semester and 
found exactly that he wrote 40,699 pages. This is reasonable because if we round 40,699 pages, we get round. Okay, I got to quick go back. If we round 40,699 40, pages to the nearest 10,000, we get 40, we get about 40 thousand pages so this is how we do and if you don't like that that went down there like me i'm just gonna change sizes of some things right here so that it stays all on one paper and as i'm sitting here messing around remember to always have fun and take your time it is okay ask for help Again, another thing that is okay to be doing. And remember to subscribe to my channel. You, This is a lot of fun, you guys. Also, hit that bell so you can get a notification whenever I post a new one. And then also hit the like. Maybe leave me a couple comments. Anyways, as I always say, remember to smile, giggle, and wiggle. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.